Hi everyone, I'm Tian Chen Jing. I'm a PhD student at Human Center Autonomy Lab at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In this video, I will speak to you about multimodal anomaly detection for unstructured and uncertain environments, which is the work in collaboration with Distributed Autonomous Systems Lab. Let's get right to it. Agriculture is currently facing a labor crisis. To enable the autonomous farm of the future, the field robot Teresentia has been introduced in recent years. Teresentia is a compact agriculture robot, which navigates through rows of crops under cluttered canopies to collect data on plant trades. Due to the low accuracy of the GPS signal under the crop canopy, either LiDAR-based or vision-based navigation algorithm has been adopted on the robot. In practice, however, Due to unstructured and highly uncertain operating environment, robots are likely to encounter various types of failures. On the left, you can see the robot deviates from the center line and collides with the left row of crops. And on the right, the robot encounters lodged plants, which obstruct the path. So the main goal of this work is to enable the robots to identify and therefore recover from failures automatically in highly uncertain field environments. We approach the failure identification problem using a deep supervised multi-class classifier. The model maps from a set of sensor data X to a corresponding class label Y. We assume that the sensor data is multi-model, consisting of a high-dimensional input modality, such as slider and camera, and a low-dimensional input modality, such as wheel encoders and IMU. Here, zero represents the normal case, whereas each non-zero value in the set corresponds to a specific type of failures. For the training of such multi-class classifier, we propose the use of a supervised variational autoencoder model. The network focuses on two different but related tasks, classification and reconstruction. The right branch tries to classify the current state of the robot correctly, and the left branch of the model follows the VAE structure, which tries to reconstruct the sensor signals. During training, the overall loss consists of a reconstruction term and a classification term. During inference, we abandon the reconstruction branch and use the classification branch as the anomaly detector. The robot state is determined by the argmax of the probability over all possible class labels. We evaluated the proposed model on the real field robot data collected from August to October 2019. According to our dataset, we divide the anomalous cases into three subclasses, row collision, untraversable obstacles, and traversable obstacles. Our model outperforms other baseline methods in terms of the classification accuracy, which suggests that the reconstruction task during training time, as well as the multi-model aspect of our model, does help improve the classification performance. Due to the time limit, please refer to the paper for more quantitative results. The SVAE, in fact, learns an interpretable latent space. To better visualize the physical meaning of the latent variables, we used a two-dimensional latent space. After training, we fed different combinations of Z1, Z2 to the decoder to generate the point cloud grid map on the right. As can be seen, Z1 learns to represent how wide the robot's front view is, making the point clouds in front further away as it increases. In contrast, Z2 manages to represent the orientation of the crop rows, making the point clouds orient from right to left as it increases. We also analyzed the sensitivity to the anomalies of the five models during a run. As shown, our model exhibits the robustness against sensor noises and interrupts the normal operation of the robot only when necessary. Here is a demo run of our algorithm on the test set. The video was taken by the front camera on the robot. The bar chart on the top right shows the output probability of the anomaly detector. As a conclusion, such anomaly detection module pushes the robotic system to a higher level of autonomy and enables a human operator to manage and supervise multi-robot systems. Thank you.